Are the Atlanta Falcons trading back from their first pick in the 2024 NFL Draft? Now, for those who don't know Atlanta, Atlanta has the eighth overall pick in this year's upcoming draft. A lot of people have been linked to that pick. It goes from either Rome Odazume out of the receiver out of Washington or Dallas Turner, or even some people are saying Drake May, whoever it is. I personally think the Atlanta Falcons are trading back off of that eighth pick. Yes, I do know that there is a need for pass rusher on their team. And I know Dallas Turner is there at the eighth pick. And a lot of mock drafts have them selecting him there. I personally believe that they are moving back. I'm seeing a lot of trade mutters that they'll move back with Jacksonville. They'll go back, I think, to 17 and select uh, Terion Orner with that first round pick at 17. And then they'll move back into the first round and get Liatu Latu. Whatever it is, I think that Dallas Turner is not their number one edge on their big board. I think Liatu Latu is the number one edge. And then it goes J Dallas Turner and then Jarrett Verse. And I think they believe Dallas Turner, by the time in that, that late first round, he'll be gone by then, but they can get a value out of Liatu Latu because he had phenomenal production. Regardless, they also have needs at cornerback. And I think they are interested in getting additional picks to build out this roster instead of selecting um, a player at that, that eighth overall pick. I think they want to get an additional second rounder so they can continue to build out this roster. They want to build and get as much talent on within their holes within this roster. And I think moving down from eight to do that is what they're willing to do. People reports came out and said last year they were trying to move down from, from that uh, pick to select, select Bijan, nobody was interested, so they selected Bijan in that pick. I think this is the same situation this year, but I think because of the run on quarterbacks, the first five to six picks will be quarterbacks in this draft. I think a lot of people are going to willing, be willing to move up to either get that receiver, that number one or two receiver, if Marvin Harrison is there, if Malik Neighbors is there, or they'll try to get up and go get Dallas Turner at that eighth pick. And I think it allows the Atlanta Falcons to have many options in regards to moving back and getting an additional pick so they can select not only that edge, but that cornerback of the future. In a perfect scenario, I mentioned this earlier, but I would like to see Atlanta Falcons move back to 17, like, like people are predicting, to get Terion Arnold, that cornerback, and then taking their second round pick taking a second and third and moving up late into the first round and getting Liatu Latu. That is the perfect situation because it fills the needs of your team while allowing you to be aggressive, but also you don't have to give up that much draft capital. You can move select two picks in the first round, two needs without impacting your future. And I think that's something that not only Raheem Morris would love to see, but that's something that he needs on this squad. He needs young talent in important positions. If you can get a cornerback and an edge rusher for virtually a third round pick, giving up a third round pick, I think that's something that they will jump to do. So we'll see. I personally think, yes, the Atlanta Falcons should move back from the eighth pick. I think they will get more value at this point. Their team is starting to, to be built and their roster is starting to look good enough where there's not just an idea of we need to select the best player, but we also need to fit needs to build this overall roster. And I think to better do that for the Atlanta Falcons, I think they need to move back from that eighth pick. But if you agree with me, leave a comment down below. If you're like, you're, you have no idea what you're talking about, leave a comment down below. I want to know. This is just my opinion. If you have a different opinion, please let me know. And like always, wait. If you want to see more videos like this, check this one out right here. And now, and like always, peace.